Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I'm here in single player, which is not some place I often go. Because here we have Franklin's Buffalo S, as I have modified it. Not as it originally appeared in game. I changed it to green, because that is kind of the color that appears that's associated with them. We've got orange for Trevor, blue for Michael. So I, I, I matched it up. I thought, hey, he should have a green car. Just to match the color shift. Which leaves me a little bit of a quandary if I want to recreate Franklin's Buffalo S inside inside GTA Online, as I am about to do. Which build do I go for? Do I go for the original car with, you know, the plain white car with the without all the modifications or do I build the one I've got in game here and I think I think we know where we're gonna go with this it's gonna be this one just so that we have this in GTA online I did buy my Buffalo S before it was tragically taken away from us so yeah obviously there's more I can do with this and you know I really I could probably just go with whatever I Whatever I want with it, we have freedom here. Would I go with the aggressive uh, chin spoiler and all that nowadays if I was building a fresh one? Probably not. And I could see myself building one in GTA and then factoring everything back in and, you know, building this one up. So let's just take a look here. Yes, you can actually do that. Why I have a, uh, an aqua mask on in that picture, I do not know why. Probably would have been better just to select invite only. Now we're going to have to fight to get into a public session, which will be suboptimal. And we'll require the time warp again. Wow, 319 million. Okay, let's briefly talk about the shirt that I'm wearing, because I guess with the Mercenaries uh, deal, so here in Special Tops, this section was added. There's three question marks, and the only thing in there is this t-shirt. Which I guess if you decode the numbers, we are going letters to numbers to letters, that kind of thing, it decodes as all will eventually be revealed. And some people think it's a Halloween thing that's coming up. Others think it's about GTA 6. I get a nice weird shirt, so we put it on. It's just weird. Hey. I'm doing great. Well, let's go look at the car. And my RP on this, by the way, is that I eventually bought his original car. I think he's moved on. I think I don't know that he st still has a Buffalo S. There is one, a gray car. Something there it is. You see that is a Hellhound. So he runs with a, a white, you know, that's not a, an ice white. It might be a frost white Hellhound. So he sticks with it with the white car. So then I bought this. right before they took it away from us. And which we have the option of building like it's his old car. Like if we leave this roughly stock and paint it white, it'd be like he has just two cars here. But since this is mine, I think that's how I had it. And close enough. Don't even remember what the rear bumper was on mine. Let's see, let's, let's make it. They all go sports. They probably went sports. Back in the old days, I was just maxing everything out. And I thought that the, low, the, the stuff on the bottom was the best. You can see how that worked out. 
carbon vented, obviously it must be the best. Right? It's the one on the bottom. Now, I don't think I put a neon cap. May have. I have certain things. The lime green. Make sure it's insured. I'm, I'm kind of cross as to what to do here, because in the other game I did have it changed over to Black Knight, like all the plates were, but... Could have been just a plate I got. Classic. That's what it is. Secondary car. What is the secondary? Does it have a secondary? A secondary is black on it, so that's why the roof's that way. And we leave that alone. Roll cage. I think I did the upgrade on it. Roof. Oh, that's right. We probably went carbon roof on it. Because, again, it was the bottom option. This was the NASCAR one, the stock car. Yeah, the bottom option. It's, it's how I built cars back then, you know? I probably gave it limo uh, windows. Definitely would have slammed it. Give it the turbo. Wait for the transaction. Wow, really wait for the transaction. Ordering that from overseas. A wheel type, it was muscle. And which one of these was it? Not the cracker. That was the Dukes. I think I gave him a carbon paint job on I think it was black. Yeah. Any carbon black. I went carbon. Definitely make them anti shooty shooty bang bang. I think I did give it green tire smoke. If not, we will eventually. <laughs> Windows, I might have done limo, but I think we're going to go light smoke here. It's not going to be that much of a difference. Uh, wheels. Tires. Tire design. Do we want to give it to drag rate? I don't think I did. We have it in a clip. You can see if I did. But Yeah, it looks good. It's the bottom option. I might have put it in the other one. That is pretty much it. So here you have the two cars parked next to each other. If this was white, then it would be a true representation of the, game, the way the, it starts out in the game. But this is the representation that I have in my version of single player, which I've never finished, by the way. Reserved for partner. And because it's in the partner spot... Now, this could have just the lineage of having been his car. I purchased it from him when he got it, his new white one. Over. I mean, the Buffalo S is not a bad car. It's not... It's in the sports class. It would have been a lot better off in the muscle class. Like it's uh, like it's new uh, brethren is dominating it. The Buffalo uh, SDX. Shall we? Shall we check it for recording? Yes, we are. My job. My jobs. Races. Don't know if this is still relevant, but let's take. The hero car of Chiliad. I think this is the only hero car I have. I don't know, maybe I have a Tailgater S somewhere. You can't get any of them now. I still can't get over that. 
Can't get any of the three guys' cars. This is the only one I just happened to get. It is sports. We can port to point GTA. Time of day, noon, clear. Not sure that shirt calls to me, but it's just something I'm pointing out. There it is. Came up pretty quickly. Might as well get some ammo and armor while I'm here. Exposed intercooler and all. Are we going to put it right in the drink? I've not been doing well with this jump. We did, we did dunk it, but it doesn't seem like it hurt. The regular buffalo does well on, on G-Threads. Again, I don't know that anyone's using this line anymore. I mean, I would, but I mean, that's... Because I practice this one, I, haven't, I don't know the other one. But the S is just a little bit better. This is fully upgraded, so I'm not anticipating a problem getting up to Chevy High. And before you say this, hey, why don't you take all the hero cards up till you? Um, well. I think it's take the stock versions, right? Which would be more representative, but you can't you can't own the cars anymore. You can't buy them. So Rockstar feels fit to share them with you. I'm still totally annoyed with this. What would I have done differently if I was playing single player now? Uh, I would. Probably kept the stock clutch and uh, spoiler. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have put that added that on. Would have gone with a plain, a more plain rear uh, spoiler. Would have gone with the mercenary wheels as opposed to the Dukes. Because the mercenary wheels are actually the Dukes that have the ones. These are the these are the ones that come with the actual Dukes in game. Come on. These look fine. The only reason you, you put that is because they have the whole Mopar kind of connection with everything. There's chargers and chargers. This is Zippo on Sounds nice. I'm glad I, I got the car while I still could. And now I've got this little connection to my uh, to my single player save, which is not complete by any stretch of the imagination. Someday I may go through all that with you. I'll, I'll bring you along for the ride on that. Not not in the mood to do it right now. Might never happen. I think to this date, the only GTA I ever completed was Vice City. GTA 4 got too depressing. Found out what the ending was and said, nope, don't want it. No thank you, man. Don't, don't want to be involved. This this is out of, gone out of control on me on the way down. Bad. Uh, never played... Uh, San Andreas. I just didn't have, I don't think I had the platform for it. Like, I don't think, I don't think there was a, was there a PS2 version of that? I don't know. I 
And I didn't I didn't play any expansions on on you know Vice City Stories or anything like that. Got four. And after a while, before, it was between all of the dating and, and going out you had to do, it was constantly kind of slowing down the game. Then the actual main game was so depressing. I, I just walked away from it. A long time ago. I've lost all the saves since then. The whole death of Windows Live and all that. I mean, I think I have the file somewhere, but they don't load up on Steam. You tell this is one of the old original style cars. They really bend up a lot when you crash them. This is an original vehicle. And I should discuss again, I know I originally said I wasn't going to do this with any of the unavailable cars, but then I, I thought better of it. I thought, you know, denying denying you the information is not good. That increases FOMO, doesn't really, you know, the fear of missing out. It doesn't reduce it. Like, if you looked at this, you say, hey, this is a competent car with mediocre, at best, um, modifications. It doesn't hold up very well. It's competent. It's a nice drivable car. I'm glad I like it, but it's going to be absolutely a decoration in my my agency. I'm not going to be cruising with it. So now you know. It, it, it gives you the now you know kind of option. Where if it becomes available somewhere in the line, do you want to spend money on it? Is this something that you're going to care about? And if not, well then, don't even have to worry about it, you know? We'll make this little jump, especially this beat up. It does! It bounces badly. There's, there's no advanced handling flags here, but it doesn't bounce. And it looks absolutely trashed. I'll have to look at that once we get there, before we go over the, the finish line. I'm not deliberately trying to beat it up more. Excuse me. Slid. Is he dead? He's dead. We can, we can probably collect that, right? We can. Didn't really mean to make him dead. Just look at this thing. It bends up a lot. The old ones do. The new ones, not so much. Alright, let's put this one to bed. So, we know, you know, Franklin's old car will make it up the hill. It looks better when it's not beat up. And I'm going to keep it as my... That's, I think that's pretty close to my original version of it. Give it the like. Dump it back to free mode. Will I ever take this out for a drive again? I don't know. Let's, uh... It's a funny old thing. We're going to have to... Yeah, we can't return to storage unless we do this. Let's do the, the teleportation thing again. Vehicles, return to storage. That should take it out. Let's let's take out something else. 
just to make sure it stays in the garage. Then we'll look at it in the garage. What? You through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Probably did it look so. I'll get there as soon as I can. As agency uh, security stuff is like double money and it's not so much the double money that's the thing on that, it's the getting it up to 200 so that you're making the, ma the most uh, passive. I'm at like 96. And we're only a, a hop, skip, and a jump away here. Let's just zip over rather than doing the teleportation. Enjoy the city at night. Yeah, but I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna do all these cars anyway that I've purchased and don't know how quickly that's gonna happen. Just so that everybody has what you know you can see that a lot of these old cars weren't any great shakes and you shouldn't be that anxious about them. Of course is nice, but No point in worrying about it. It's not going to win you any races. But I'm really, I'm really being sloppy today. Oh, okay, he lived. That's good. I'm sloppy. I'm tired. No, I don't want cheese cash. It's just too much work. Let's not go in my garage. And there it is. And ah, he's gone home. But that's where it's gonna live. I basically just built myself another garage decoration, as so many of them are. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, probably gonna change the shirt. Wanted to show it off once. This is your black. It's never good to wear a shirt that you don't know the symbolism of. I don't know what this means. I don't know what I'm endorsing. I'm showing it to you that it's here, but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your black night. Have a great night. Okay, I'm just changing my outfit up, and I'm like, what? I don't know when this happened. Unlock something somewhere along the line.